were getting the cattle in out of the pasture because a storm was coming up, but I didn't have the gate shut yet, and there were two horses in that group, and they took out headstrong, headed for that gate, and there I stood. And I just waved my hands for them to stop. And you know what? Right to the very point, they stopped. I think about that now and I think they could have mowed me down. But you had a job to do and if you, they got out of that corral, you would never have got them again. My mother was the youngest child of uh, Frank Kern. Frank Kern was born in 1855 in Baden, Germany. He was the youngest of seven boys, and he came to America in 1872 to join two brothers who lived in Detroit, Illinois, Mike and Lambert. In 1875, uh, Lambert decided to go to Pittsburgh, Kansas, where they had coal mines, and he developed pneumonia and died. The government notified the two brothers that someone in the family had to reside on his homestead. Frank decided he would come out. He lived in a dugout. I never, ever asked where that dugout was, and then one day, it dawned on me, we had an underground cellar, would you call it, just out the back door of our home. I can remember them pulling up the carrots out of the garden and storing them down there under sand. My dad was Emmett Kelch. Originally, his name was Emil. His uncle had encouraged Emmett to come over and work a year for him uh, on his farm and he would pay his way to come over. When my dad wanted to leave and go back home at the end of the year, his uncle wouldn't let him go. My dad's English was quite poor. He went over to a neighbor and the neighbor said, I'll go with you. And he said, I'll help you get your things. He cannot do that to you. My dad went into the town of Liberal, Kansas, and found a job in a restaurant there washing dishes. He had no money, and he was going to work and to save up his money to make his way back to Germany. He ventured about three miles south of Dundee, went over the farm over there, and their name was McGreevy. They put him up for the night in the barn and informed him about Frank Kern having this sand pit that was about six miles that he had to walk. The next morning, he came in and he talked to uh, Frank Kern and Frank said, well, you stay with me. He said, I'll find you some work. And I remember my dad telling when he was coming up the road carrying his suitcase. He said this little girl was out in the front yard and when she saw him, she ran in the house. This little girl later became his wife. Dad was 27, I believe, and mother was 21. Dad was about seven years older than Mother. Uh, they were married in the new Catholic church in Great Bend, and they were the first ones to be married in that church. They lived on the farm all of their lives. Frank uh, was still living at that time, and of course it was his home. They had uh, three boys, Morse, and Emmett Jr., and Victor. And then there were two girls that followed, and I was the first girl, and then my sister, Rosemarie. He was awfully good to my mother. Uh, you know, uh, I can remember many a time, 
even as a young girl, my dad, after a meal, he would be drying the dishes. And I seem to think that he might have done that before the marriage even. That's probably how they got acquainted.